Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are currently on our journey towards Felix Stowe when the map loads. Um, we are going to be going via Chelmsford as well. We are just entered Essex at the end of the last episode. Um, so the only way is Essex, or the only way is up, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, we're going to be looping around Chelmsford. This is the, actually the, the birthplace of radio, if you didn't know already. And then we're going to be heading north up the A12 towards Felix Stowe. And then we'll pick up Discoverable. And then I think we'll have time just to pick the next journey. And then drive a little bit of it. I think we're going to go further north up the UK, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> Probably not the best place to stop, to be honest. <laughs> Probably could have picked a more appropriate place to stop. <laughs> but oh well. I'm sure everybody um, got a mic disconnect sound there, probably. Chelmsford and Brentwood to the right, I guess. I need to be in this lane. Uh, okay. Oh God, that was close. So yeah, I don't think I've ever been to Essex. Seems like quite a nice place actually. It's not it's not all like fake tan and stuff. And hay and all that stuff. But I've heard it's quite got quite a nice few stuff, like South End's there, um obviously Stansted and all that's there. Um Chelmsford seems to be quite a nice place. Colchester, Ipswich, all that sort of stuff. I don't even know if Ipswich is there. I'm just guessing. I know Chelmsford's there though. Okay, I think I might have took the wrong lane. And there's a police car there as well, a British police car. <laughs> they just watched everything I just did. Okay, we want to stay in the inside, the outside lane. Because we want to sort of... We want to sort of get off in a minute. 30 miles to be in fact. And this game is a 1 to 20 scale, so I mean, that's like less than a mile. <laughs> Probably just less than 3 quarters of a mile in real life. I wonder what their, um, their thinking was behind actually taking the game to a 1 to 20 scale. Did they ever think that maybe we should make a 1 to 1 scale truck sim? Can you imagine if they'd done like a UK truck sim in a one-to-one -one scale? Can you imagine how amazing that would be? Like it would take a while, but can you imagine how great that that would be? That would be absolutely fantastic. I would love a one-to-one -one scale truck sim. Um, especially a UK truck sim. That would be fantastic. I think they will do it eventually though, that's the thing, like that's the thing in my mind, I think that they, they have got a vision to do a 1 to 1 tr scale truck sim, because nobody has really done a 1 to 1 scale Euro truck, um, or simulation in fact, okay there's a bush in the middle of the road, so yeah it'd be kind of nice to actually get that, but I don't know if it's going to happen, maybe, hopefully, birthplace of radio, I told you, Chelmsford discovered. Nice. It's actually a 30 limit round here. Or a 48 then, I guess. Oh, that guy would have cut into me there. That would not have been good. 
Okay, I think we're going to go round left here. This, um, actually, this city has been upgraded and, um, or updated and, uh, like, rebuilt in Pro Mods 2.4. So you can expect the game to basically, ha well, you can expect Pro Mods to have, um, a brand new Chelmsford in Pro Mods 2.4. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be fantastic. Actually, Chelmsford does look quite good in this, in the new update. I won't give too much away in case you guys want to wait until it actually releases. Which makes sense, actually. I will show it off, actually, um, when it actually releases. So, yeah. Um, the release notes are on the Pro Mods um, Facebook page, if you want to go and have a look. Um, it's also on Twitter as well, come to think about it. So, yeah, you can have a look at that. Oh, great, I just missed the lights. I don't think I need my indicators on when there's nothing coming. <laughs> really. Oh, it's a bus station. Nice. Let's go and have a look. Hey, what's going on here? Okay. American Truck Simulator. Why you? Why are we advertise? Okay. <laughs> looks like the My Summer Car boss. That looks like an OMSI boss. Okay, some weird conversations going on here. Just stand face to face and just don't talk. Okay then. <laughs> nice. I guess that's England. <laughs> oh, that 4K image. It's great. Okay, it's green. I think it's been green for a while, but okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to do that. Just get out the truck and just have a look around. It's the sort of thing I want to do with this series as well. Have a look around stuff. Hey, the man with the blue van. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do that again. Imagine doing that in real life, it's just crazy. Imagine how annoyed it would be. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> he just appeared from nowhere. Oh god, I almost missed the lights there. <laughs> almost went into that big massive bound and bo like that massive invisible wall. Well, it's not really invisible, it's more, um, visible. That visible wall. Good, good. I need to catch these lights. You're scumbag, you know that. No! <laughs> it's all your fault. Uh-oh. I went over the... I went over the thing. <laughs> Me and a Renault with your Aveco Stralis. I almost caught them. Very close. <laughs> wow, is that a London bus? Jeez. I don't see very many of them in Essex. Not that I've been to Essex or anything, but... Uh oh, I need that guy to go in front. Because I need to get in that lane. Dude, don't stop! No! Eh, uh, okay. Not sure what's going on with that guy. I think he wants to go straight on, but I think he's getting confused. <laughs> he could have went on the other lane, like the one to the right of me. It would have been easier. A lot of people don't understand roundabouts for some reason. 
But yeah, I think it's a lot of things. I think roundabouts are one of the things people struggle with a lot. Which is understandable, really. Because they are quite complicated. Well, not really, but a lot of people do find them complicated. Okay, I thought I was going to be able to start there. Okay, on to Felix Stone now. Up to A12. It's been a fantastic journey though. For six grand, it's a quite rip off, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's been quite nice. We spent almost then um, fifty minutes on this journey, uh, about forty minutes on this journey to get six grand, six thousand eight hundred. We should hit level fair. We should hit level three though. That's a good thing. Maybe halfway up level three. You never know, considering how long this journey's been. I think it was only a standard delivery, that's why it was so low. Which is quite annoying. Wow, the frames, jeez. What's going on? Something with the frames is going on. Getting a bit of lag. Sure why. It's very countryside. I would have thought of it expect to get lag round about Chelmsford, but not here. Okay, I'm not going that way, I'm not sure why I've indicated. Uh okay. This is good. Whatever this is. 30 limit, yay. <laughs> hey! Okay, national speed limit occurs. Good. Yeah, Essex is one of those places that I'd like to go to. It may seem very, very, very strange to you guys, um, Essex, what? But yeah, it does seem, it's one of those places that a lot of people don't like, but I think it's one of those places that I will like. 23 miles to Felixstowe, not far now. Just over a mile in real life terms. Yeah, the frames are dropping here somehow. Don't know why. Just doing it with OBS as well. <laughs> oh, I'll calm down in a minute. I need to go and have a coffee after this. I'm tired. It's like ha it's like mid it's like midday almost for me. Um, um. So yeah. So basically, I'm gonna be telling you guys a lot more about what days I'm gonna be recording and how the videos are gonna go live. So basically, wait, what Pound Lane? What sort of name is that? <laughs> That's worse than Cockermouth. I mean. Like, okay, right, so, what's going to basically happen is, I'm going to be, this week, obviously, there's going to be seven videos minimum this week, so there's going to be, hopefully there's going to be a, well, there will be a video on Monday, there'll be a video on Tuesday, there'll be a video on Wednesday, actually, there's going to be a video every day this week, okay? I know I said last week that I'd be doing a video every day, but this week I'm pretty certain there's going to be a video every day. Yay! <laughs> I knew that was coming at some point. Uh, excuse me, can you move before the lights change? Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, um, there's going to be a video every day this week, uh, Monday to Sunday. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to be doing... Um, if, I have a, if I have more than seven videos recorded, um, I'll do one an extra one on Friday. Um, obviously, I need to do the ETS2 special, so it's going to be a lot more this week in terms of hours rather than 
like Betty Hose. But yeah, I'm still in the process of getting the Greenland story live as well. Um, hopefully that'll go live by the end of April. Um, not sure when it's exactly going to go live, but uh oh. Oh, come on, game. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, straight down to Felix though, 13 miles. Great Yarmouth, wow. I love how promos just do those signs though. It's great. Like, even though they've not got like an actual city for all the names that they've got in the signs, Road Improvements A14 Corridor. Wow. I love how they've got the, the live updates as well. Welcome to Felix Stowe. Oh yeah, this is another one that's been updated, a new update. They've basically redone the whole of Felix store as well, um, to basically look at a lot more like a port and a dockyard, which is something that's really nice. Just those little things that matter in Eurotruck. So yeah, we'll be able to start the next journey. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get much done though. Hopefully we'll get halfway up level 3, that's my goal for today, to get halfway up level 3. I think what we're going to do is try and get to level 5 and then we'll pick our, um, our own um, truck, that's what we'll do. So hopefully another about 4 or 5 episodes we'll be able to get our first truck, so about episode 8 or 9. I think that's around about where we got in our first series as well. You never know with the AI. You never know. Okay, there should be a discoverable. Watch the Hemel's root advisor lag again. Yeah, look at that. Uh oh. I was in the wrong lane again. Not very good at paying attention today. Oh yeah, I'll be doing a GeoGuessr as well this week, so I think it'll be probably at the weekend the GeoGuessr will go up. I'm not quite sure yet, maybe Friday. Um, but yeah, Friday technically counts the weekend anyway, so yeah. Um, so yeah, there should be a GeoGuessr at the weekend. Um, I think we'll be doing the, the world map this time. The world map this time, rather than the UK. Because we did the UK last time, so we take it in shots. We do the UK, the world, the UK, the world, that sort of thing. And we do quite a few a year, actually. We do about eight or nine a year, something like that. Okay, we have finally reached our destination in Felixstowe. Um, that one. Uh, I want the XP, thank you. Auto parking? Nah, you're okay. 90 XP seems too much to miss out on. I mean, 90 XP doesn't feel like a lot. I think it should be three times as much as that, personally. Crash vehicle offence, okay. <laughs> That's the th th third time I've got a, a fine today, and it's all been in the last half, it's all been in the last five minutes as well. Okay, 
Right, let's detach. Yeah, excellent, thank you. 539 XP, should be quite a lot. Mm, not quite how... Oh, I'm a bit disappointed with that, actually. I thought it'd be a lot more than that. But fair enough. We also get to pick another point, though. Um, this is our third point that we got to pick. We picked an ADR. I think we want more money now. I'm not too bothered about deliveries more than 750 because in this series we're not really going to be doing any more than 500 anyway. Um, high value cargo is a, a, a possibility. But I think we should go just in time because it gets us a nice amount. Um, eco driving's not really worth it at this point because we don't even buy fuel that often anyway. So I'm going to go just in time. Uh, we've got about 10 minutes left. Let's have a look at the map. Look at that, 0.5% discovered. And we've done probably about 4 hours of city profile so far. It's crazy. So yeah, there is discoverables that I've completely forgot to get in Felix though. I should have got... Them. Oh no, that's Castle. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you can see there where the pro mods has been added, the SCS stuff gets overruled a little bit. Um... So, yeah, so we just took a journey from, um, uh, where was it, uh, Lille all the way up to Calais, and then we took it over to Dover, and then looped around a little bit and up Felixo, up the A12 to Felixo. It's quite nice, quite a nice bit of discoverable there. Um, let's have a look at the quick jobs. I'd like to go up the UK if possible. Um, Felixo to London, that could be a nice short job just to end the episode. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll end the episode with that. And then I'll, I get, I'll let you guys have a look at London. Be prepared. Be prepared for the lag, though, because London is quite laggy. What the hell is this? What on earth? Do we get a sat-nav? Oh, we've got a sat-nav. Thank God for that. We can take that away. Let's quickly have a look at the route. We probably just go over the episode a little bit today. Just finish this off. So we're heading down the A12, um, down to London. Nothing to pick up really along the way. No, oh, okay. Let's just get it over and done with. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this truck, to be honest. It's quite... And I don't like being on the, the right-hand side. It feels very strange. Oh, God, that feels strange as anything. So yeah, we've got tractors here, which is not that interesting. Oh no, okay, that's fine. I've just damaged the trailer. I really do not like this truck at all. I really hate this truck. It's okay if it was on the left-hand side. I really don't like it being on the right. It just feels very strange. But it's how a UK truck driver would drive, so yeah, it's going to put on the, the UK side automatically. And don't worry, I've not forgotten that we're driving on the left, uh, on the right, at uh, the left, I mean. Wow, that feels weird. That feels properly strange. Hey. Oh, God. Man. You any idea how weird this feels? <laughs> it may not seem like it for you guys, because a lot of people watching the videos live in the UK, but I mean... God. Someone that's drove um, on the left-hand side of the truck for years and years on Eurotruck, it just feels weird. I'll get used to it in a minute, and then I will need to go back to the left and um, drive in a minute. Okay, down to London, down the A12 again. This feels very strange being on this side. It feels like, hmm, okay. Do I think I need to be back a little bit? No, maybe not. Oh, I don't like this truck at all. Okay, straight down to London then. Yeah, 
Yeah, so what has London got, you may be asking? So London has got a lot of them. Uh, we're not going to be looking at a lot of them today. We'll look at them when we get our own truck, though. Um, but London has got a lot of um, like landmarks. Um, like it's got Victoria Bridge, it's got um, the London Eye, it's got the Tower Bridge, eh, not Tower Bridge, sorry, it's got, uh oh, it's got, not Tower Bridge, it's got a uh, Westminster Bridge, it's got Buckingham Palace as well, I think, it's got Westminster Palace, um, what else has it got? It's got St. Paul's Cathedral. I think it's got the shard as well, the cucumber, eh, not the cucumber, the gherkin, the cucumber, what? The gherkin. Yeah, lots of nice little landmarks in London. Colchester and Harwich. Obviously down to London. It seems this A12 road is quite a nice connection between um, the north of Essex and down towards um, London then. Or even further, maybe up to Norfolk. Yeah, it's a bit, it was a bit laggy last time, wasn't it? Seems to be okay this time. Um, if you're wondering what mods I've got, by the way, I've only got really two mods installed. I've got Pro Mods and I've got the Hemel's Root Advisor. Um, I will be adding, probably for next episode, I will be adding the um, Jazzy Cat mods in. So stuff like the AI packs, the bus traffic packs, um, the um, the truck traffic packs. It's added a lot of new um, trailers. Uh, the military cargo pack, maybe. The train traffic pack. Uh, painted truck traffic, BDF, all that sort of stuff. Just basically a lot of them, basically. Um, I'm not sure if I should show everybody what mods I've got. I may, I may put a screenshot of my mod order in Discord this week, actually, um, because then it'll give people an idea of what um, is going on. If you want to know what, the, if you want to follow the Discord server, by the way, it's in the description, and I've got a video of it in the last few weeks showing you um, what's actually why you should join Discord. It's quite an informative video, actually. Self-advertising for the win. Oh yeah, thank you guys. I think we just crossed 10,000 views on my most popular video, by the way, which is fantastic. And also, I thank you guys for 500 videos as well on the channel. This is the 504th video now, I think. No, sorry, 505th video. Because two of those videos, because two videos were the 500th special. Seems kind of weird, but yeah. Oh yeah, actually, now that, I, I, now that I'm thinking about it, about specials and stuff, um, Minecraft 10-year um, special is basically happening. It's definitely happening. Um, it will be happening on the week of the 17th of May. Or it'll be happening from the 13th of May to the 19th of May. And there'll be a different video every single day to do with Minecraft. Whether it be survival, I take a look at other people's worlds, sort of review them. Um, a couple of multiplayer stuff is going to be in the mix as well. Just a great week of stuff. I thought I'd just go back to it for a week. It's been a few years since I played Minecraft, so I thought I'd go back to it. Seems kind of right for the 10 year anniversary. One of the biggest games ever released on the planet. Thought I'd go back to it. That's very controversial what I just said. <laughs> biggest games on the planet. Biggest game releases on the planet. Okay. <laughs> hey, though, when it did release, it was huge. It was one of the most addicted games of the beginning of this decade. And now we've got PUBG and Apex Legends and Fortnite. Great times. I'm not a Fortnite fan myself, but, you know, I do know a lot of people that like Fortnite. So yeah, we should be coming into London now. I'll, sh I'll kind of be like a little bit of a tour guide. I'm not that great on London, actually. I'm not that great. London low emission level. Wow. Wow, there's a lot of um, place names. So yeah, I'll try and be a great of assistance um, trying to tour guide around London, but I'm not that great, to be honest. I was trying to tour guide around Edinburgh or something. I'd be a lot better, because I've actually been there a lot more than I have London. I've been to London once. 
and that was in 2015. That was over four years ago. Yeah, you can see the lag coming in now. Yeah, there is going to be a lot of lag in London. Please be aware of that. There's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. It's just the game. It's not too bad, though. I mean, it's like 15 FPS in places, 10 FPS some places. Central London and Stratford, straight on. Hey. It's tooting a horn to everybody today and they don't toot back. How rude. Okay. Great. Great that good to see that the lights are timed. It's good. Okay, so Central London and Stratford straight on. Stratford is actually the location of the 2012 Olympics, if you didn't know already. Don't ask me how I know that, I just do. I think I, I think I found out from Train Sim actually, now that I think about it. Uh, Blackwell Tunnel, Blackwall Tunnel, okay. Hopefully the frames are a little bit better in here. <laughs> wow. Crazy. It's crazy how many people live in London, though. It's like literally about a quarter of the population of the UK live in London. Like four times the size of Scotland, like four times the population of Scotland lives in London. When you think about it like that, it's just insane. It's like 7 million in Scotland, it's like 26 million in, in London. And that's grown a lot. Oh god! <laughs> I went on the side almost. It doesn't take much for a truck to topple over either. Like, it's not like it's a double decker bus or anything. Lewisham, I guess that's where we're going, sort of, <laughs> I don't really know, it's amazing how much pro mods is done to London, it's so fantastic, oh I thought that was a road park, that's why I was going round that way, oh my god I'm going this way, <laughs> That's good. I'm in the wrong lane. Oh my god, that coach was going quite fast. Bing. Jeez. Tell you what, the frames are not too bad as I thought. Seems a nice little residential area of London. I'm not seeing very much landmarks, so that's the thing. Thought I'd see a lot more landmarks. Normally, I think it's on the other side of London that has a lot of them. Victoria and Vauxhall, yeah, that's the Victoria Bridge that I was talking about. I don't think it's down here though. I think it's on the other side of London. Sure, what's down there? It's very. What is that? Quite sure what that is.
get. You would not drive around London. You would take public transport at every opportunity you can. Like the, the underground. What the hell is this? Oh my god, the frames. Guinness, made of more. American Truck Sim, that's the second time I've seen that in the last two episodes. And we have arrived at our destination. It's quite a quick journey. It's only about 10 minutes. But yeah, hopefully throughout the, um, the career profile we'll see more of London. We should do. Come on, very slowly. Uh, I've just turned off the engine. Don't know why I did that. I think that trailer might get in the way. Or both those trailers might get in the way. Eh, no match for me. Oh, wait a sec. Can I just drive round that? I think I can. Doesn't help when the game keeps lagging. Oh, no, I can't. Now that I see it. Ah. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just line up here. Very carefully. He says. Yep, yeah, very carefully. Wait, what are you doing? No, turn the game, turn the thing back on. No! <laughs> Wait, what? No, I didn't want to skip it! You scumbag game! Okay, that's halfway up level 3, that's quite good. Oh my god, I clicked the wrong button, I meant to go outside, I clicked the... No! Actually, I think the go outside button is the exact same button is set for the skip parking. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> so yeah, um, we can help you grow new special transports. We'll be trying them at some point, hopefully. Yeah, that's going to do it for another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with another journey. Let's have a look at our um, quick jobs. What is the largest price per distance journey we've got? Be a special transport, I think, yeah. We might do a special transport. I don't know. Maybe one of these, maybe. Or Cambridge to Chelmsford. Don't know. Yeah, if you do the video, please like the button. If you could do all the videos on my channel, please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. See you later.